Hey guys, Synergy here and I'm bringing you a brand new video. This one's a tutorial for Sony Vegas and let's get into it. So basically we're going to open up Sony Vegas and what you want to do is you want to click on each individual video, click on properties, then disable resample. That is a must guys because if you do not disable the resample your render times will be a lot slower and also the quality will be a lot worse. You can see here we've gone on to file and then properties and we've gone on to HDV 20 by 30p we're going to pull it at 1000 square we're going to use 1280 by 720 that's full HD 720 recording frame rate is at 29.970 and we've got 8 bit best Caucasian none do not click adjust source and what we're going to do is we're just going to go on to the audio we're going to show you 48,016 your best bet is to just pause in between this a bit guys um, basically I've struggled a lot following this and I know that a lot of people have struggled with these particular tutorials so what we're going to do is we're going to go on to our rendering we're going to go Sony AVC MVC and then we're going to click the internet 1280 by 720-30p template that's the one you're going to customize I've got one pre-customized here and we're going to go into that and basically I'm just going to show you through it and we've got AVC high definition 128070 and what you want is you want your profile to main Kabak 29.970 non progressive scan pixel aspect ratio at one squared and this you can set between 13,500, 500 and 16 million whatever and then you've got these options here which allow you to use your CPU depends on uh, what sort of uh, card that you've got you can see on the Sony AVC video and um, basically all I'm doing here is just showing you through check GPU this is how you know which option is going to be best for you to pick and um, basically set it to best quality in this screen and like I said guys if it does go a bit fast for you just pause the video and it's simple as that you can see in the template name there save me as what what you basically want to do is you want to save it as that I've got the QSV ready so I am pick the speed option and basically we're going to name our video at the moment so when we name the video what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you my actual rendering times I'm sorry this was a very quick video guys um, I have been at it completely all day just trying to reset my settings after I had to have my computer fixed and um, basically you're going to see here now the clip is roughly around about 2 minutes 30 seconds for example so at the moment it doesn't look good but wait for it guys, like I said, I've got an i7 processor, it does depend on your computer's capabilities as well. If you've got a slightly worse computer then it's going to render slower, but this is definitely the fastest way. 720 Full HD, if you want to check out the quality on the videos, just check out any one of my gaming videos and that will basically prove it to you guys. Uh, these are the settings that I personally use. Um, I don't actually render out my videos in 1080 because YouTube is set a standard to 720 and basically that's exactly why I do it and you're going to see here uh, we've got 53 seconds elapsed and we're only on 60% Arr, me artist. okay so if this video did help you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe the video and um, basically love to hear what you think this is going to be my first tutorial and this is basically a rendering tutorial in 720 full HD like I said in between the screens just pause the screens you'll get exactly the right settings on because sometimes I know I might have gone a little bit fast for myself to even be commenting it but yeah, I hope this basically helped you guys, so peace out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into that file now, as you can see here. And we basically called it Time to Render Me, blah, blah, blah. Going to show you a bit of a video from one of my gaming clips. And you can see that the quality is not lost at all. We're just going to minimize that and show you some other programs that I do use. I use Handbrake to compress all my videos. There is a tutorial out there for Handbrake. And I use GIMP for the actual thumbnails. And obviously the Elgato for the HD recording. Thanks guys. Don't forget to sub.